Good morning, everybody. It's February 16th. Actually, it's afternoon, uh, but it's still February 16th, I believe. Um, you guys remember that Farm King auger that uh, we were changing the flighting in there last fall? We changed all the flighting and we stuck uh, a new Redondo Extend on it. And then we had some issues with a valve not being shut and it collapsed down on the bin, wrecked the auger. Remember me pointing that out last fall? I mean, I'll insert a picture here, but. Uh, so yeah, that auger basically is kaputzos. <laughs> it's just uh, for the cost for those tubes that are bent, it's, sorry to say, but it's a throwaway world it seems, and it's actually, this is the cheaper alternative. I shouldn't say it's cheaper. It is a little bit more money, but yeah. So this is the route we went. We bought a new 16104, and uh, that Redondo Extend was on the other auger. It's brand new. It only has two loads under it. And so uh, we are uh, installing this Redondo on this new Farm King. Hold on here. There we go. Now you guys probably have a few questions like, Mike, why the 1604? And why not like the 16124, like what you have at the North Farm? And the answer to that question is because these bins are only nine ring bins. Point out what that means for maybe some of you who are new. All right, each one of these represents one ring. So one, two, go to the next set of bolts, three, four, five, and so on. So these are nine rings, okay? You can easily reach a nine ring bin with a 104. You can actually do it with an 85, a 16185, but uh, 1685, sorry, not 185. But it is pretty hard on your PTO drive shaft because you're at such an angle that we pretty much go through one of these per season when we only have an 85, auger, 85 foot auger going in that bin. Now, these are 4809s, so they're 48 foot diameter. If you had, say, a 42 or uh, like the bins up north are 4212s or 12 rings high, so you have to have that 124 to reach them. But the eave in the diameter makes a big difference, right? If you only had a 4209, uh, it wouldn't be near as hard, I don't think, on your uh, U-joints on your auger because you don't have to have it so high so you don't hit the eave. Anyways, we want to get this installed. We're kind of, our backs are against the wall here. And the reason why is uh, Donovan Semi's running. I just got back over here with my semi and we're cleaning seed and uh, we're not cleaning it here. Normally, like nine and a half times out of 10, we always clean our own seed. But due to we're running a little bit behind this year because we had to work on drills that actually wasn't accounted for. And as I go back to some of your guys' questions, why didn't you do those bushings in the summer when it was super nice out? Because we didn't actually plan on doing the bushings. Actually thought it would go another year gonna do the bushings this summer but then when we started digging into them a little bit closer and started pulling some apart we're like ooh, boy I don't know if we're gonna be able to go that other year so then we're like dang it we did not plan on doing that so that's the reason why we had to do the bushings in the winter so anyway since we had to do that we're a little bit behind here and uh, we're actually getting some clean our seed custom cleaned and unlike the north farm when I had a guy come in to clean at my yard we are just loading up the trucks and hauling it uh, to another town, and they're cleaning. It. They're cleaning it there for us. So that's the deal. And we gotta load one more load of red lentils and tuck it over there to them. And then they want the truck, and they're gonna clean into the truck, and we're gonna bring it back. So obviously, when we bring it back, we gotta have something to offload it with. So this is why we're working on this auger. It's actually a fairly balmy minus 18 degrees Celsius. It's actually not bad out. The sun makes it feel like it's probably minus eight and there's not a whole lot of wind so anyways i'm gonna help out here and uh maybe we can see a little bit what they're doing here so here's your it sits on this poly and you stick hey, these puppies on keep going. you're good see if i can get in here oh that's probably kind of loud no, for you no, no. back it up here okay i'm gonna give my hand here hey, Alright, so the auger's about done. We just gotta put the spout on it now. We're loading up another truck of lentils to get it over there. Just in case you 
you guys got some questions. I figured, like, the flighting that was in that old auger, the flighting, the old auger's over there. That's all brand new, so I'm not going to throw any of that away. I'm going to use that auger to part, so it's still a value to me, but it's not worth putting all these things on. down here. You better flip your hand around. There it is. <laughs> we left it full of mustard. And uh, if we just engage it when it's full of ice, we'll just tear the fighting right off. I think we should have tried though. Like, I don't know. Look at Michael! <laughs> Want some mustard with your ketchup? Oh, that looks that looks good. That's not very good. <laughs> That's not very good. <coughs> you shouldn't taste that. You shouldn't. It's not good. <coughs> I'd rate, that's, that's definitely a four out of ten. That's a four out of ten. Well, if that's a four out of if that's a four out of ten, Mike, you're not very fussy with food. Um, no. That's the soup. That's good soup, right no, here. No, the worst thing. The, you know what the one out of ten is? You know what the one out of ten is? What? Can you even see me? Are you looking at that thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he's looking at his cell phone. <laughs> no, is uh, sewer. So because I was down in a septic tank. This has happened twice. I've heard that story a lot. I was down at my parents. They were having septic tank issues. No problem. Good sun, right? I go down. My younger brother, he's at the top. The, the pump shot. Or I thought the pump was shot. So I'm working on it, I pulled the end off, uh, and Ryan was messing around, he was wiggling the float by accident, I, he says accident, it wasn't an accident. <laughs> Anyways, the pump turned on, and it just shot me right in the face, like the full inch and a quarter, just and I was spitting pee, well, whatever else was in that sewer, I was spitting out, like I had a whole mouthful, like some of it went down the throat, and I'm like, ah, fuck, fuck, and it just covered me. That was a one. That is probably the worst that I've experienced. That's the favorite story to tell around the park. I know. Everyone tells that story. That's the first time I've heard it. Really? Yeah. Really? You haven't heard that one before? I haven't been in enough long times. I've been in pretty good. Why do I got this? What is this thing anyway? I feel like this end is better. It's just... Hey Will, are you checking for any dents coming out the backside? Hopefully. No, no, I'm not. <laughs> Here, I'll take. That no, one. we're good. This is still better than that. Whatever Don did. So the pressure washer was hot water. We're just trying to soften up the ice. There's a good chunk here. Here. Hey, oh. don't you be hey, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my bad. I'm gonna just step step back here. 
Oh, come on, I'm not gonna do it twice. <laughs> Mike! <laughs> Where's the wand? Wait, what? I'm gonna take a yeah, wand at you. Ah, right, here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. Okay, so we're gonna continue this. Obviously, it's all installed. Ready to rock and roll. We're going to use Dad's tractor to run it. And uh, oh yeah, yeah. Here I'll. Well, you wash the auger, guys. I'm worried that you. Looks good so far. Okay, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'll catch you guys on the flipper. Adios, amigos. Man, holding this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you guys later. I just make a